I got up this morning kind of thinking about the problem of meta-organizing information <laughs> to, that, uh, to the extent that that makes sense. Um, I spent a good chunk of yesterday, well, good chunk, I don't know, a couple hours yesterday, um, trying to finish a newsletter um, about that specificity gradient. And what it ended up turning into was kind of almost like a, like a full write-up about the entire thing. And um, I was like, well, that's not appropriate. That's like, first of all, it's, it's, it's 3,000 words long. It's not even close to finished. But, you know, it's just not really the kind of thing that, that fits uh, in the sense of a, as a, as a newsletter, um, which should be you know, contemporaneous and, you know, and I, I want to actually keep out, um, you know, the more long lived stuff. Like I, uh, the, um, I don't want to say, you know, eulogy or <laughs> what have you of Christopher Alexander, for example, I wrote as a newsletter and I kind of regret that because, uh, notwithstanding the fact that it's like easily the most far reaching of, of, of them, um, it to me it's kind of it's on the wrong domain and it's you know it's going to be stuck there forever and you know it's going to be a whole thing to try to move that uh so i kind of wish in a way that i had not put it there but um it kind of made me think about sort of the flow or the the kinds of affordances you might want to call it of uh, just various modalities or you know channels let's just call them of uh, of information and it's kind of like okay you know you start with say twitter where the cost of tweeting is like about as low as 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 you can get as far as like promulgating a piece of information with a with a fairly wide reach um doing these videos is very similar you know it takes me 10 seconds to do a tweet you know maybe a few minutes to do a thread it takes me uh you know an hour to do one of these videos all in you know it takes you know just doing them in 10 10 minutes but the actual you know all in it takes an hour like i mentioned the other day um, it takes, it should take, and, and, and this is the kind of the tell is it's like, it should take maybe like four hours to write a newsletter, you know, and if it's like taken 12, <laughs> you know, or 16 or 20, then, then it probably shouldn't be one, you know, and then it could take me up to a week to write, you know, something for the web. And, uh, and longer to do bigger things. Like if I'm ever doing one of those models, like one of those simulations, like those take days and days. Um, you know, anything, you know, diagrams themselves, diagrams themselves are kind of not, but like, you know, they're kind of an extra step, you know. Um, so there's, there's costs involved, I guess, and there's sort of a gradient of those. Uh, and I was also kind of thinking in terms of reach, like, um, one of the things that I'm kind of teeing up, uh, and I'm, you know, mostly trying to interact with the, I'm kind of moving my, uh, stuff from, uh, Substack to button down. Uh, the button down guy, Justin Duke actually has, uh, quit his job at Stripe and is now full time on button down, which is you know, kind of exciting for him. Um, that's another, it's basically button down as a competitor to Substack. Um, button dot email. There's your plug, Justin. Um, but yeah, uh, what else was I thinking of? Um, I'm kind of thinking more like just solidifying these, this concept or this typology that I've kind of had in my head about, um, just basically like I wanted to say three kinds of information where you're considering the substance of content rather than say like the sort of speech act of it um or any kind of like narrative or rhetorical aspect of it 
but the actual kind of, yeah, the actual substantive contact. And I had three categories and I'm not claiming this is original, you know, I don't, somebody else might have figured this out, but, um, so I, my typology has got three categories. You've got, um, situational information. So that's like positions in Mementa. That's like, you know, restaurant hours, when are they open? Like, oh, a stock tip or what's the weather? Like that kind of stuff. And like the idea behind situational information is that you can, uh, like basically you can use it or not. I mean, depending on your situation, it, it's depicting some kind of situation out there in the world. You don't need to learn anything new to use it, uh, assuming you can use it at all. Um, and, uh, you know, you can just, you can take that information, deploy it. The, the value of it is going to be fairly obvious to the extent that it's obvious at all. And, uh, yeah, so the situational information is number one. Methodological information, number two, is that, is number two, that is how to do things. And so there you have to learn something new. Obviously you have to learn to do the thing, but like, you know, generally the, the value of, of, of learning the thing, whatever it is, is, you know, obvious, at least to, to certain people, why, why it'd be worth doing. Um, and so that information is kind of sought after, you know, to effectively gain new capabilities. And then finally, there is... I'll just call it philosophical information because I had it as like epistemic, ontological, axiological. Um, but, you know, that basically accounts for most of philosophy. And the idea there is like, that's like, that's like new language and new uh, conceptual frameworks and new, you know, yeah, generally new language, new sort of ways of uh, thinking and talking conversing about things there might be sort of rhetorical talking points and there might be a thing so it's not in strictly philosophical but the idea is it's mostly declarative and um, the idea there and the reason why to split it out is because like the, usually the value of that is not so obvious and so um, you know because it could be like an entire new paradigm you know, it could be, you know, new ways of thinking about, which is, yeah, it's basically new ways of thinking about, about things. And, um, you know, when I sort of think about what my stock and trade is, mostly it's, it's not a lot of situational information. Um, there's a fair amount of methodological information and also a fair amount of this sort of philosophical you know, and I mean, again, the word philosophical is very, like, strict in, in meaning. But uh, anyway, that's the, uh, the thought of the day. So I'm going to finish my coffee.